Hello. So today is day four, uh, June twenty third, Friday. Um. So yesterday, oh yesterday, last night. So after I made my video, actually, it turns out it was it was a kid outside the door. I wasn't crazy. Um, Nina and Hannah, Yoshiko and Yui, they came over and we hung out. Um, Nina taught me Japanese. I taught her a little bit of English. She's five years old, but we hung out. Um, it was great. They're adorable. I love them. Um, there was a certain point where the younger one stood up on the table and then jumped at me. And I was like, wow, you really trust me already. <laughs> like, you're just throwing yourself at me. But they're adorable. They're great. So that happened. Um, Yui was so kind, she bought, brought us, um, she brought over, like, this giant glass bottle of blueberry concentrate, um, which was awesome. Um, it was delicious. It, like, wasn't sweet at all. I think it was just pure, like, blueberry concentrate juice. It was kind of thick. It was really good. Um, and then I was telling Yoshiko how I was really craving spicy Korean food, and so she brought over, like, these spicy Korean crackers that she had left over. They were kind of stale, but, like... It's the heart that counts, you know? <laughs> um, but that was lovely. Uh, they're great. Uh, and then... Yeah, so... I was supposed to work 1 to 6 today at Potato Farm. So I turned my alarm off. Just slept in. Woke up at 8. Either way, so it's not that late. But... Um, and then I was, like, planning on exploring the neighborhood and, like eating breakfast, you know, like making myself coffee again and chilling out. But Yui came over and she was like, emergency, so seven workers were supposed to come, but two of them didn't show up, so it'd be really great if you can help me. So I was like, obviously I'd help you, like, so I had to start working from nine. So I worked six hours today, I worked from nine to twelve, took an hour break, and then from one to six, or one to four, it was like really, really exhausting, but it was fine. Um, so I helped her out, um, she was like, did you eat breakfast? I was like, no, not, I, like, just woke up, and so she's like, come over to my house, so she made me breakfast, um, I had miso, and then egg, with some chicken, and rice, it was delicious, and green tea, and then we had it on, we head on over, I got ready real quick, and then we, we went to the farm, um, yeah, so I met some new workers, most of them were just elderly, um, yeah, I mean, again, it was just six hours of silence, <laughs> sorting out potatoes. It's it's really hard to small talk, especially when you're working, because it gets, like, really intense. Like, it, it requires a lot of concentration to pick out these dirt pieces and, like, these little potatoes. So it's, like, boring, but, like, also a lot of work mentally, kind of. And just, like, physically, just a lot of things going on. Like, it's just crazy. I did talk to this one guy, because he spoke a little bit of English. He looked, he looked, he was definitely younger than the other, like, elderly people. Um, his name's Toto, and he speaks English because he, like, farmed in New Zealand for a year or something like that, which was cool. He's like, yeah, I work for this company, and, um... They sent me to New Zealand to farm, so I was there for, like, a year, and I was like, whoa. So, yeah, so I talked to him for a bit, but, like, in the truck, like, you're not really talking to anyone. Like, they're not even talking to each other. Like, people are just, like, concentrating all-out potato picking, um, which is good, I guess. But, yeah, oh, yeah, on the way to the potato field, Yui was telling me how, like, thankful she was for me to help her because, basically... Potatoes are really rare in Japan right now because it rains a lot, I think. And so it's really hard to grow potatoes. And this snack called chagabi, which is really, they're basically like french fries, but like snack form. Um, they're made from the potatoes that are harvested here. And how it works is the company pays these farmers. And these farmers don't even own the land. They're like just renting the land. Um... And they, they sign this contract, I guess, and they have a deadline of, like, all of these potatoes they need to harvest. And they need to reach, like, this deadline, basically. And you're saying, like, yeah, people don't really understand. Like, we're farmers, but it's, like, we need to reach this deadline. But the company won't pay us. So it's, like, kind of intense. Um, but, so I figured out today, like, so it was all day work. Just 
thinking in my mind. So there was this old guy working across from me, and he would like slack off sometimes because like I'm sure he's tired, like he's old, like he's old. Um, do like kind of slack off, and in my head I'm just like, bro, like, come on, like can't pick up the dirt, like I can't pick up all of them. Um, so that happened, but it's funny how that's that was my problems these days are just like being mad at old people for not picking up dirt. I'm like, what? Like, not even mad, but I'm just thinking about what I'm thinking about these days because I am just on a farm and I don't have any problems, I guess. And it's funny to just analyze what I've been thinking. And it's honestly just great that I even have time to just even just think about what I did today and like what I've thought about because it's only like 10 o'clock and like I'm just I'm just chilling you know like I have nothing else to do but like think about what I've done today which is great I think that's it's good it's good it's really good um so yeah so that guy just needs to cut the slack you know like he needs to stop that but I'm sure he's, he's a pro um and then so, yeah, I like, I like, there was a certain point where I had my phone and I was like, maybe I should ask him if I can play some music, you know, like, it's like really quiet and boring. But at the same time, like, I know some old people just don't like, because like I said, it's like high concentration picking these potatoes and it could totally be a distraction for some people. And I don't know, I just didn't want to be rude. But then again, I'm thinking, well, maybe I should. I think tomorrow I'm going to take headphones because I don't want to like bother anyone. But... It's just really hard, because it's one thing if I can just, like, speak Japanese, obviously, but it's, like, really hard. And it's not really a setting where they can, like, teach me, because, like I said, it's, like, kind of intense. So it's just, like, me picking these potatoes with these people quietly in silence <laughs> in my own head. But it was fine. Lunch was interesting. Um, so we had an we have an hour lunch break, and I didn't know that I was going to work today, so I didn't pack anything. Um, and Yoshiko, she packed two rice balls for herself, but she gave me one, babe, um, which was really good. And then um, one of the women that I was in the same truck with, she gave me some food, which was really sweet. She had like little sausages in her bento box. It was it was oishi. It was mad oishi. Um, and then it was just funny because they just talk amongst themselves. And I would just kind of sit there and like try to pick up on what they were saying. There was a certain point where I like understood what they were talking about. They were talking about the potatoes at a certain point. I understood what she was saying. Which is great. Improvements. Yes. Um, what else? It's really interesting because when I tell people that I'm a, what I'm from, like, I'm from America, they get really surprised by the fact that I am. Because they're like, wait, so you're Korean, but you're from, you live in America? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but they get really confused about that, which I think is really interesting. And they're like, oh, you're Korean. And it's really funny because lately it's like, I talk more about Korea, like obviously, obviously, I don't know, but they're really interested in like the Korean food and like things like that. And I'm like glad I, I like know about it to like talk about it with them. Um, but yeah, they're like, yes, Korean food, oishi, really good. I'm like, yeah, um, which is awesome, which is good. Um, so lunch was interesting. And the rest of the day was just, like, work again. It was, it's, like, it's not bad. Like, the work isn't bad, but, like, standing for six hours, and then, like, that's just exhausting. You're standing, and then you're on a truck, so the truck's kind of moving. So that's, like, automatically just more added movement to your muscles, I guess. I don't know. Um, but it was I Today was I like, work-wise. Um, and then after... Um, oh, no, for lunch, and then, um, Yui, she bought me soba, she, like, brought me soba and ice cream, because she knows I like ice cream, so I had that, too, and I split it with Yoshiko, so lunch was good, um, and then after work, I ended up four, thank god, those people were there from seven to six, that's so crazy, they get paid ten dollars an hour, and they they get paid, they just get it's from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. How many hours is that? But they get like an hour in between. So like 10. So they get paid like $100 a day. Um, crazy. Actually, that's not bad. I'll, oh, I... Um, because as a woofer, you're only supposed to work six hours a day. 
and today was technically kind of extra. Guess not, but they assumed that it would have been extra. They told me like, oh, like today would be extra. I was like, all right, that's fine. But then I did bring up, I was like, do you think I could just get paid instead of like adjusting time? Like I can just get paid a little bit for, for extra. And then the, she was chill about it. She was like, yeah, maybe. And then like the conversation kept going. She's like, actually, no. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. She's like, why? I was like, I'm not trying to make money. It's just like, I just need enough money to transport myself from this whooping station to the next. And she's like, oh, we'll cover you. And I was like, nice, nice, great. So I think, I think travel expenses is covered, which is good. Um, Cause yeah, I mean, my parents support me, but like, I'd rather like try to just live on my own as long as I'm wolfing. But obviously if I, if I need backup, my parents are there, um, but that was good. Um, so I have that. And then so after work, what did I do? Mm. Um, I went to the supermarket because I didn't have any more shampoo left. Um, so Yui was kind enough to drop me off at the supermarket. Um, and then she like left, but I walked back, which is which was nice. Um, but yeah, I got shampoo and then obviously I didn't get just shampoo. Like there was just like some fun foods and snacks. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna get ice cream. I'm gonna get some dumpling because they're only a dollar and i was like everything's just a dollar and then add up to like 20 and i'm like fuck it happens it's fine so i got some good food um what and then i walked back i don't know what's up but like it's really the people here are really different than the city i guess like especially the kids like i always see all these high school kids in their uniforms and they're intimidated as fuck i don't know what it is like they're just scary like they like stare you down and they're like in packs sometimes and clearly they just like are scary i i don't know energy not bad vibes but like i'm like okay i'm just gonna do my own thing because i'm like by myself i don't want to get beat up by like fucking gangs of high school kids you know i don't know weird someone honked at me like that was also weird like i don't know just like i try i like it's really odd because i felt safer in the city I guess because I was also with another person, but there's just like more people in general in Tokyo and like there are lights everywhere and the trains, but like here it's like, there's like nothing. Okay, there's like a supermarket, but it's like pretty much empty and then there like aren't, people don't walk around here except for like the students who like bike around and so I feel like more unsafe, which is odd. I don't know. And there was a weird situation happened where like I was walking and, and it was like there was someone in a car and she kept staring at me. But she had a really like cutesy face. It was really weird. And I was like, what is going on? And then I like kept staring back because I was like, why are you staring at me? And then I looked in the driver's seat and there was this scary ass fucking dude also staring back. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna like walk. Like just just walk. It was so weird. Um It was so weird. It was so weird. But basically, I don't feel safe walking around here by myself, especially at night, because that's just jank. Like, I'm definitely going to try exploring the city tomorrow morning, because I'm supposed to work at 1 tomorrow, which is good. But I do want to, like, kind of look around, but there really isn't much here, like, at all, um, which is fine. Uh, but, yeah, so I went that, came back... There's, so I have another friend, which is good. He's not a woofer, but he's just like a, he's working and he's staying here for a month. Really chill dude. Um, I forgot his name already. It's really hard, but he's just like this guy from Osaka. Really chill. I was listening to No Name in the kitchen while cooking dinner and he was like, No Name? I was like, no way. So yeah, we were like really bonded over music, which is great. Um, yeah, it was really crazy. Really crazy. He's like, yeah. I'm like Japanese, but like, I don't, I can't talk to, I can't talk to any of my friends about music because they don't listen to any of this. And I'm like, wow, this is great. We bonded over freaking hip hop and rap again. Like, thanks to music, just honestly connecting, connecting with people through music. That's what I've been learning through this trip. One thing, music, universal language for sure. Um, so that was good. Yeah, we tried it. He bought like sweet potato liquor. It's like twenty five percent, so we drank, but it was like it was good. It's like it was smooth. Um, I've never had it before, but it was good. Um, it was really good. We talked about music. We just chilled, hung out. Um, 
but yeah, it was fun. And then we saw fucking, like, five cockroaches in the kitchen, and I'm shocked. I'm, like, still shook, actually. Like, they're huge. They're, like, literally, like, this big. No joke. And I, I can't believe I didn't see them in the kitchen when I was here by myself. Like, I was like, what? Where did you come from? Oh, it was so gross. There were, like, five of them. Um, it was not fun. Uh, killed two. Saw five overall. Um... But it was just not, it was just not a fun time. Not a fun time. So that was shocking. Oh, also. Tomorrow's Saturday, so yeah, tomorrow I'm working on the potato farm again. They have so many fields, they have so many potatoes to be harvested. And she was telling me how they needed to be harvested before July. Because once July hits, the prices for the potatoes go down apparently. I don't know why, but that's a thing. And so I think it's just going to be a lot of intense potato harvesting the next few weeks. But it's supposed to rain Sunday, Monday, so I have Monday off, which is great. Um, Sunday, though, um, they also, like, run a fish pond or some shit. And I'm going to go help them with the fish pond, which is great. She explained it as, yeah, so it's a lot of uh, elderly people and they want to fish before they go to heaven and continue to laugh. It was really weird. It was really funny. I was like, wow, okay. So yeah, apparently a, a group of like old people want to go fishing and they need help. Just like, I think I'm going to like look after the kids. She's like, oh, super easy. Just like watch Totoro with my children. And I was like, great. Um, so I'll be doing that Sunday. And then Monday I'll have off. So I'll like work, which is good. Like work on my own personal stuff. Um, yeah. So that's the agenda for the next few days. It's just kind of sad how I only have days off when it's raining because then I can't go out. Like, I can, but, like, I don't want to. Um, it's fine. But yeah. So that's life update number four. Yes. I'm going to go to bed now. Good night.